adventure, intrigue, mystery, romance, starring Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall. Together in the sultry setting of tropical Havana and the mysterious islands of the Caribbean. Bold Venture. names of Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall bring you Bold Venture and a tale of mystery and intrigue. Slate, I just had a thought. Well, let you and me keep it to yourself, huh? Till I finish totaling up the hotel expenses for the day. Sure. How can a man think about two things at once when he's pitting his brain against an adding machine? <laughs> well, this one's shifty. I've got to watch it. You and your army surplus bargain. What's it doing to you this time? Look at that. Look at that total. $49,685 for a day's expenses? That's what I always say about you, Slate. You've sure got a head on your shoulders. Yeah, well, that was just a trial run. I'm... I'm going to have at it once more. What did you pay for the cake you bought for that dinner party? I told you, ten pesos. You could have got it for six if Senora Sanchez's delicatessen. The last time I was there, Senora Sanchez made me help her fold strudel. Look, now look, sailor. One of the reasons I went into the hotel business was so that at the end of a day's work, I could cuddle up with a clear buck. To save four pesos, you could have folded a strudel or two. Mr. Slate, there are too many here. Don't bother to tell him, boy. We'll work it out together. Him and me and Rhino here. Yeah, together. And the lady, too. All right, then it'll be a party. All we need is one more guest, Matt Wallace. Invite him, Slate. It won't be fun without him. Matt Wallace? Oh, I haven't seen Matt in... Oh, let's see. It must be 10, 12 years in Dallas. We work in the oil fields together. Dream we'd strike it one day. You're telling me Matt's here in Havana? Yeah, I'd like to see him. You will, Slate. Honest, you will. Rhino and me's got a feeling he's going to come here and throw his arms around his old buddy. We want to be here to watch. Yeah, we got a feeling we want to watch. We'll let you know when Matt comes, if he comes. Goodbye, boys. Sorry to break up the party. <laughs> she said goodbye. The lady said goodbye. King. Yes, Mr. Slate. I escort them out for you. Come on, you two. I know the boy wants to play. Play with him, Rhino. I like you, Ray. You're good for me. Let's play, boy. You did the wrong thing, Mr. I. <laughs> this is a nice party. <laughs> Games and everything. Slate, get him off. King, you. Oh, Slate. I don't my bite you. Let the boys have their fun till Matt comes. Okay? <laughs> I hope he don't come for a long time, Ray. <laughs> for a long time. came back. I, I won't ask you anything about Ray. What do you want? You're my wife, Vi. I want you to listen to me. About what? Let's give Shannon all of it, Vi. Oh, you're crazy. Listen, Vi, we don't need a deep or I'll strike a Shannon. Get out of here. Go someplace. There's a million places, Vi. I'll show them all to you. We haven't given ourselves a chance. You'll Just see. Just tell me a thing, will you? What Slate Shannon got to do with you? Twelve years ago, we gave each other a promise. You're crazy, Matt. You really are. The man I took for a husband is out of his mind. You don't know Shannon. He'd have done the same for me. He'd strike oil and give you half for a 12-year-old promise? Shannon would. Oh, if you'd only tell me where, Matt. Just tell me where you made the strike so I'll know. In case In I'm... case anything happens to me, forget it. I try to all the time. I can't sleep worrying about something might happen to you. Oh, by listen to me. Just listen. You'd better get out of here, husband. All right. To Shannon. Like I said I would. I hope you make it, husband. I told you once, Rhino. Don't make me tell you again. Leave the boys' guitar alone. Oh, Ray, I gotta keep doing something with my hands. You know that. Just waiting around makes me edgy. Don't pout, Rhino. 
Maybe he'll find you someone else to beat up, to fill in the gap, till Matt Wallace gets here. You'd do that for your boy, wouldn't you, Ray? Toss him a bone like that? Any time he cries for it. You'll remember, huh? How can he forget? You always referee Rhino's matches with a gun, Ray? In some crazy places, that could be called no contest. My boy's fast, but sometimes he's outweighed. The gun evens it up. I have to take care of my boy. King could take him in a round, couldn't you, King? He's strong, Mr. Slate. It might take longer than that. Uh, you're a smart boy. Rhino cuts you to pieces. The people, Rhino has smartened up that way. Still, I'd like to match you two for real sometimes. But some other time. Well, look who's here. <laughs> Hello, Matt. You kept us waiting. Slate. It's been 12 years. I counted them. Me too, Matt. Meet your reception committee, Matt. Ray and Rhino. Funny songs, witty sayings. Ray? I've heard that name. A little while ago, my wife called me Ray. A woman gets confused sometimes. Ray, Matt, close enough. This won't take long, Matt. What we've been waiting for. Just tell me where you made the oil strike, and we can part friends. You made a strike, Matt? You come to tell me that? Yeah, kid. All those years, I finally made it. But it's just for you and me. No one else. <laughs> Hear that, Rhino? It's gone to his head. The man's oil happy. Yeah, to his head, oil happy. Tell us where you made it, Matt, or I'll sick Rhino on you. Oh, oh, oh. cost me too much. cost me too many years. You'll have to... Rhino! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, you fool, Rhino. You crazy, stupid fool. I'd to shoot him. We'll never get... You told me. You said... Get out of here. Quick. King, help me with him. He's alive, lady sailor. We get him to doctor. Take care of him. I'm going after them. Wait, wait. Uh, there's a, a piece of paper in, in my pocket. A slate half. It belongs to it. Tell him I get the doctor. Get a police doctor, King. It's more in his line. <laughs> Gone for a long time, Slate. What happened? I lost him. How's Matt? They took him away in a stretcher. The doctor doesn't know whether he'll live or die. He'll live. All they have to do is give him a piece of adhesive tape and point in the direction of home. The police were here, too. Wrote in little black books. Asked questions. Wanted to know where you were. What'd you tell them? I raised an eyebrow and smiled archly. The police giggled and nudged each other. You don't know I was here when the shooting happened, huh? No. They kept hitting each other with their elbows. I had to remind them what they came for. Uh-huh. Who's Matt Wallace, Slade? Guy. I used to know him. He gave me something for you. Here. This. 16 Avenada Charles, Havana, Cuba. I, Matt Wallace, do hereby deed to Slate Shannon. He's giving you 50% of an oil field. I read it. What were you looking out of the window for, Slate? Slate, I'm talking to you. Hmm? You say something? Who's Matt Wallace? Why did he... Fifty percent. What do you know? What's the matter with you? Who's Matt Wallace? What's all this about? <laughs> okay, okay. You imagine a guy like that, sailor? Like what? Twelve years ago, Matt and I worked the oil fields together. Twelve years ago, we gave up, Matt and I... We shook hands. We told each other if we ever hit, half of it would belong to the other. Then we walked away. What do you know? Matt remembered. An oil strike. Hey, where are you going? <laughs> What do you want? I'm a friend of Matt Wallace's. I thought... How'd you find me? Well, this address was scribbled on a piece of paper Matt gave me. I didn't know you came with it. If I'd known, I'd have got here sooner. <laughs> That'd make you Slate Shannon. Come on in. You can close your eyes to how the place looks. I've been tearing it apart. The cheap way they make things nowadays, easy to tear apart. That's how you feel about Matt. You rip open his upholstery? I'm his wife. He hides things from me. Like where he made his oil strike. You see right through a girl, don't you, Slate? The things she wants, the people she wants to divvy him with. Now, you take me. Uh, I'm not like that at all. 
Matt says I get half. There's a pact we made. I'm selfish. I don't want to share it with anybody. Oh, but you will with me. For a reason I've got. Hmm. That's a good reason. Now try me with another one. You're a lot like Matt. You have to be bled for your secrets. Ray! Glad you joined us, Ray. I've been looking for you. I'll be to do something for you, Vi. The man's got a tight mouth. Take him someplace and it'll loosen it for him. Anything for you, sugar. It'll be easy, Slade. I'll take you to Rhino. You can ride along on this gun. Sorry, Vi. The man's got me over a barrel. Bye, sugar. <laughs> Okay, Shannon, out of the car. Yeah. You don't budge. How friendly the man says. <laughs> See how nice you can do with a little help? He learns easy, Ray. On your feet, Shannon. You're going to say where Wallace made that striker or we're going to leave you here on the beach for the gulls. <laughs> the gulls will get you if you don't watch out. Funny. Ain't it funny, Shannon? Laugh. <laughs> I said laugh. You don't know what you're doing. Where's the strike? I don't know. I keep telling you. Rhino, you remember Kansas City? When I had the main goal? Sure, sure, I remember. Tell Shannon. <laughs> Tell him. Listen good, Shannon. I threw two rights. Like this. <laughs> <laughs> then, then the big one. <laughs> Did you see? Did you see, Ray? Just like in Kansas City. Yeah. I'll say a word or two and I'll throw some sand in his face. <laughs> Big suspicion Say to King Moses Go on a mission Find Sled Shannon Wherever he be In Barrio on beach Bring him to me King Moses He look all over place Find Mr. Shannon With sand in face Bring him home To Lady Sailor Now his head Need very fine tailor He's home, King Moses, but his heart's not in it. Something's happened to Slate Shannon. He's been walking up and down on that patio for an hour now. he done that before, Lady Sailor. He's thinking about things, remembering things, things that happened a long time ago. I felt like I was watching a stranger, this fever for oil. King! Hey, King! Yes, Mr. Slate? Hi, Slate. Hello. King, what'd you do with my gun? It's in the... Don't uh... tell him. Slate, why don't you talk to me? What's happened to you that you need a gun? Off the arm, sailor. Come on, come on. Where's the gun? You gonna tell me, King, or am I gonna have to convince you? Miss Sailor... Tell him. I'll get it, Mr. Slate. Here, the gun. So now you own an oil strike, Slate. What are you going to do? Kill people from the sheer joy of it? I don't know where the strike is. I can't claim it. Why don't you ask Matt? The hospital won't let me see him. He's unconscious. He'll probably die. You're going to help him along with a gun? Look, sailor, Matt liked to talk. Somewhere in Havana, he must have dropped a word. I'm going to find out where. See you. You were right not to call out to him, Miss Sailor. He had the look of a man to whose stopping could not be done. He had the look of a man who ought to be banged over the head with a blunt instrument. You will wait for him? No. I'm going to share it with him. Like the man said, see you. <laughs> You loused it, Ray. You and your ape rhino loused it. Be kind to us, sugar. If Slate didn't spill after what rhino did to him, he never will. You should have been there to see me by. I was going good. It's just that the punk washed out on me before And what I you could... did to Matt. Huh? That was bright, too, huh? Shutting his mouth with a bullet. Here he's in a hospital. Alive. 
Rhino could pry his mouth open again. He could die, too, without making a sound. Yeah, that's possible. Maybe half a million in oil. A girl could buy a moon for that and all the little moons. Only she doesn't know where it is. Maybe we know someone who does, sugar. Who? The girl is known as Sailor Duval. She was alone with Matt when Slate ran after us, after we shot your husband. You think he told her? He must have thought he was dying. Matt tells a girl a lot of things when he's dying. Especially about a long dream that came true. All right, get her. Talk to her. See how easy it is when you're nice, sugar? Let's go, Rhino. Bring your fist. Senor Shannon, such a man as you described was here to eat on my blue plate. Now, what did he say? What did he talk about? Senor. You don't have to get cagey with me, Pedro. What did he tell you about the oil? Aye, the oil. He said not too much on the salad. I'm going to have to beat it out of you, Pedro. Senor, you went best with the bells along. Nice going, brave man. Six more inches and Pedro will top five feet. What do you want, sailor? I'm worried about you. Do something clever with a handkerchief. Cry in it. <laughs> Come on, Slate. You've been going to these places all night. What's it gotten you? It's gotten me you. Stop following me. Get out of here. Slate, you've got to listen to me. I don't have to listen to you. I don't have to listen to anybody. Get out of here. All right, Slate. Hey, you're difficult to keep up with, Miss Duvall. Well, Ray, get away from here. It's been a bad night. Then let's get out of it. Let's say hello to each other at my place. It's not much what we ask, Miss Duval. Just a few pretty words out of your pretty lips. Yeah, pretty lips. Why, Ry, now, I didn't think you cared for things like that. I thought with you it was just broken bones. Anyone's, Miss Duval, even yours. Isn't that so, I know? Stop putting words in the man's mouth. Even yours, Mr. Bell, just like Ray said. Just tell us what Matt told you. As near as I can remember, all he did was groan. And after that, he told you where he made his oil strike. After that, all he did was groan. Like this. Uh, That's a good word. You pronounce it good. But Rhino can teach you to do it better. I'm with you, kid. Sure he could. But it's all Matt told me. Maybe it is. Maybe Slate Shannon would be a better teacher. Better than Rhino, even. You're going to get Slate to beat me up? Just to die for you, Mr. Val. That's all we'll ask him to do. Just die. Right in front of you. King Moses is happy to see you come home, Mr. Slate. I'm tired. And Miss Sailor, she is very tired, too? Sailor? Did she not come home with you? No, isn't she home? Maybe she still look for you. She found me a dozen times. I finally got rid of her. Rid of Lady Sailor? This you will never do. You send her away, she will come back. If she not come back, you will go for her. No thing will change this. Not you. No, the oil that makes a man that's in you. Oh, you don't know how it is. Just... Slate Shannon speaking. What? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Right away. I was a hospital king. Lady Sailor, something happened? Oh, the best thing in the world has happened. Matt Wallace just regained consciousness. He wants to talk to me. About the oil, Mr. Slate? Do not go to him. Don't go to him. What's the matter? Have you gone crazy, too? Hi, Matt. Treating you good? Yeah. Took a long time coming to see me here in the hospital. They wouldn't let me in. Said you were unconscious. Said you were dying. Where is it, Matt? Where'd you make the strike? (laughs) What's to laugh? We wasted a sweet part of our lives looking for oil. You found it. Half of it's mine. Like we agreed. Like we met a solemn oath. I want my half, Matt. (laughs) There isn't any oil. Never was. It's a game I played with myself. You're lying. You don't want me in on it. You're wrong. There's a hole in Brazil. A deep, deep hole. With brine at the bottom, salty to the taste. Take it, kid. It's yours, all of it. What are you talking about? Did a lot for me, Slate, that empty hole in the earth. I told her I'd struck oil someplace in South America. 
kept my wife loving me. I held its promise up to her nose. For that, she loved me. For that, she tried to get me killed. It was a DJ sailor. What kind of a thing was that to do to me? I thought you'd help me, Slate. Help me keep up my little game so my wife would keep on loving me. Not Ray. Not anyone. Uh, you look tired, kid. You better get some sleep. Yeah. You too. Don't... Don't give it up, Slate. I'll find it. I'll still find it. You'll see. Sure you will, Matt. Sure you will. And it won't take 12 years this time, Slate. I got an idea. A hunch. Have a nice visit with the sick, Mr. Shine. Huh? Oh, yeah, I know. I sure did. You should have been here. I'm polite. I wait for you outside the hall. You're going on another visit, Fendi. You think so? I don't think. Ray does that for me. Ray, you're the gun in your back or just my bare hands. See the hospital sign, Fendi? Says quiet. That's how I want you should be, quiet. Let's go, Frenzy. Hey, how'd you get here, sailor? When you threw me away, a man came up and took my arm. I'm sorry for that. Slate. Yeah? Go shove your head in a derrick. Miss Duval says she doesn't know where the oil is either, Shannon. Why bother her? I know. You didn't know a little while ago. Man gets older, he learns more. It works this way, Shannon. You tell me where the oil strike is, you and the girl here join hands and skip all the way home. If I don't, you kill me, huh? Both of you. You and the lady, one at a time. Rhino can do it without blood. Yeah. Yeah, he was telling me on the way down. Twenty fights, 18 knockouts. One man died. Yeah, one man. Why'd that happen, Rhino? Toledo, my best fight. I wish I could have been there watching you. I'll bet you were great. Hey, they never forgot me at Toledo, did they, Ray? Where's the strike, Shannon? I wish you could have seen the newspaper clipping. Yeah, me too. You're going to say where, Shannon? They talked about it, wrote about it, took my picture with a movie actress. They called her a starlet. I was great in Toledo. Show me what happened in Toledo. Huh? Shannon, what are you building? Come on, Rhino, show me a great fighter like you. Show me on Ray so I can see what happened. Huh? Take him, Rhino. Take Ray like you did with that guy in Toledo so I can see what you did. Yeah. Yeah, you're crazy. You punched on crazy man. Stay away from me. I just want to show him, Ray. It was like this. The old cost grew. Oh, it's a maniac. Keep away. Then the one toe. That's the right of <laughs> Then. Downstairs. Uh, in, in the. Uh, that's how I was. And then later. The other guy laying on the deck. But. But he. Other guy didn't even get to me. Not like this. No. You're such a smart man, Slate. You open your mouth and people drop like flies. I'm not done yet. There's another one, a woman. Vi Wallace? What are you going to do to her? Just mention her name to the police. Go on home, sailor. You told me that before. Look what happened. I told you I was sorry. You can stay if you believe me. I believe you. You sure it's all over, Slate? The oil, the fever for it. Who needs oil? I've got everything I need. Like what? A hotel, a boat, a friend, King Moses. What else? You. That's my old slate. See what it gets you? Yeah, sure. Uh, what'd you say, sailor? You've got a faraway look in your eye. They're wildcatting oil in Brazil. I read about it. You going to Brazil? Goodbye. How can I go when I've got you around my neck? No, you haven't. Give me your arms. Now I have. Better than wildcatting. <laughs> I don't know. I never kissed a wildcat. And so our two stars, Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall, have brought to a close our latest Bold Venture story. Special music was composed and conducted by David Rose. 
May we invite you to listen again next week at this time for another exciting adventure starring Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall together in Bold Ventures.